this video will ask the question of I was just brightening the screen. <clears throat> this picture will ask the question of, I mean, this video will ask the question of, does global warming actually exist? <clears throat> so the Wikipedia page I'm looking at is U.S. state and territory temperature extremes. This records it within the past two centuries, not precisely. And we're going to see if global warming really exists. For, in order to see whether or not it exists, we need to ask, ask one question. Is the recorded high temperature more recent than the recorded low temperature for a majority of the... for a majority? Alabama. The high I is about 40... Over, about 40 years before the low. But still, wait, Alabama got negative ifs? That's impressive. In fact, every state has gotten a negative temperature, I think, except for American Samoa within the past 200 years. And also, about every state has except American Samoa isn't a state, and also about every state has gotten a temperature that is at least 100 degrees Fahrenheit. <clears throat> Alaska, uh, the, high, the high temperature is around, um, is around 56 years before the low, but that doesn't mean that it's not happening. American Samoa, the high is early is later than the low. Arizona, the high is more recent than the low. Arkansas, the high is more recent than the low. California, the high is less recent than the low. Oh, Colorado, the high is more recent than the low. Connecticut, the high is more recent than the, the low. Delaware, the high is more recent than the low. Just wanted to The District of Columbia, the, the capital of the United States, the high is more recent than the low. Oh, Florida, the high is more recent than the low. Good, just wanted to make sure that the 1800s didn't appear earlier and I accidentally missed them. Georgia, the high is more recent than the low. Oh, September, I'm um, Georgia, the high is also more recent than the low. I might have accidentally said Georgia twice. Guam, the high is less recent than the low. Oh, ne what's next? Hawaii, the high is less recent than the low. Idaho, the high is less recent than the low. Illinois, the high is... Less recent than the low. Wait, the low was only is in 2019? Indiana, the high is less recent than the low. Iowa, the high is less recent than the low. Oh, Kansas, the high is actually more recent than the low. Oh, Kentucky, the high is less recent than the low. Louisiana, the high is more recent than the low. Maine. The high is less recent than the low by almost 100 years. Massachusetts. He sits. The high is less recent than the low. Michigan. The high is more recent than the low. Minnesota. The high is less recent than the low. Mississippi. The high is less recent than the low. Missouri, which instantly... Both the high and the low oh, temperature extremes was in Warsaw. Wait, Kansas has a city named Lebanon? That's weird. Anyway, we're getting off time. Missouri. The high is more recent than the low. 
Montana. The high is less recent than the low. Nebraska, the high is less recent than the low. Nevada, the high is more recent than the low. New Hampshire, the high is more recent than the low again. And New Mexico, the high is more recent than the low. New Mexico, the high is more recent than the low. New York, the high is less recent than the low. North Carolina, the high is less recent than the low. North Dakota, the high is more recent than the low. Northern Mariana Islands, the high is more recent than the low. Ohio, the high is more recent than the low. Oklahoma, the high is less recent than the low. Oregon, the high is more recent than the low. Pennsylvania, the high is more recent than the low. Puerto Rico, the high is more recent than the low. Rhode Island, the high is more recent than the low. South Carolina, the high is more recent than the low. South Dakota, the high is more recent than the low. Tennessee, the high is more recent than the low. Texas, the high is more recent than the low. Utah, the high is more recent than the low. Vermont, the high is less recent than the low. Virgin Islands of the U.S., not the British Virgin Islands. The high is more recent than the low. Virginia, the high is less recent than the low. Washington, the high is less recent than the low. West Virginia, the high is more recent than the low. Wisconsin, the high is less recent than the low. Wyoming, the high is more recent than the low. Now, I'm going. what I'm going to do is calculate is count how many states slash territories slash capitals were mentioned and how many times that the high was more recent than the low. I'll pause this video. So it, it is American Samoa, the District of Columbia, that's two, Guam, that's three, Northern Mariana Islands, that's four, Puerto Rico, that's five, the Virgin Islands, that's six, plus the 50 states, so we got a total of 56. That is our divisor. Now we'll go find the dividend, which is how many times that the high was more recent than the low. Relax, this shouldn't take long. The high was more recent than the low, about 31, 50, 31 times out of 56. The other 25, the low was more recent. Anyway, if you wonder what the asterisks mean next to certain certain dates, it means that that temperature was also reached on earlier date or dates in that state or territory. Well, in that state, territory, or capital, since the District of Columbia also has an asterisk. And yes, I know some people are going to mention, well, most, well, all of the days in which much the high was more recent than the low were during the summer day or during the summer days so of course the high so of course it's going to be higher and the low and all the lows were in the winter days march 28th what season is that spring may 31st what season is that spring And also mentioning the months, December 15th, what season is that? Fall. And also just mentioning the months seems like, like oh, uh, American Smoke, what season is that? Spring. I mean, 19th, April 27th, what season is that? Spring. So mentioning the month, so bring the months into perspective. If it just sounds like an awkward excuse to get it away with denying global warming. August 12th. Yeah, that's summer. So with this, can we say conclusively that global warming is real? So let's divide 31 by 56. 
Yes, we have already technically demonstrated that global warming is real, but I just want to find the month, the percentage. So according to my math, at the high was more recent than the low, about 55.3571% of the time. So I'll just go with, so I'll round and say, Which, of course, means that the low was more recent than the high. 45, no, So that's a difference of 10.72%. So since the high was more recent than the low, more times than the low was more recent than the high, we can say with about reasonable certainty. We can say with very, very reasonable certainty that climate change, I mean, it does exist. So since the high was more, because the high was more recent than the low, oh, 31 out of 56 times, whereas the low was more recent than the high, 25 out of 56 times. Maybe I should do this with China or Brazil or Ethiopia. Anyway, the point is global warming is real. Well, because 55.36% of the time, the high was more recent than the low. End of story.